okay Mac users, throw away your desktops. Apple patent describes a Mac mini in a keyboard. So I'm imagining similar to the Raspberry Pi keyboard that we saw with the Raspberry Pi built into the keyboard. This will be really interesting to see what they can do with this if it ever comes to fruition, because you can see what they can do in form factors like the MacBook Air or the iPhone. This pattern was actually filed in 2020. It was then revised in 2021. The application is titled Computer in an input device. I don't know how that's like some sort of inception thing. How can it be an input device for the thing that it is? They also mention in the filing the inconvenience, awkwardness, difficulty of moving your desktop PC around. I agree with this. I move my desktop PC around regularly for no particular reason. But you can imagine if you were just carrying a magic keyboard sized computer around with you with all the power of M1 currently, that that would be an amazing desktop if you just had to plug it into a screen and a mouse. Talking about plugging this into a screen, I think it will incorporate very nicely with AirPlay and what they're currently doing with the iPads. You could take this computer with you, take it to Costa, plug it in, put your iPad on the table and just start typing away and you'll have a really powerful desktop that you could literally take anywhere with you. Because obviously this solves the problem of portability. It's much easier to carry on a keyboard than an entire desktop. Although it still doesn't sort out the problem of peripherals, the fact that you'll still need a mouse You'll still need a screen to plug this all into. So this really only solves half the problem. As you can see here, they still got a pictorial, they've got a screen, they've got a magic keyboard, and they've got a magic mouse. They mentioned in the patent that they obviously want it to be powerful, but also portable. So they want a bit more than just a USB-C connector. I think that they'll be able to pull it off in almost the same form factor, given what they're doing with the MacBook Air and the newest line of iPads. Obviously this patent released in 2020, there's been a lot of updates to Apple's lineup and the power that they're getting out of their chips nowadays. If we look at the current Magic Keyboard, you can definitely see where they could incorporate an M1 chip and the sort of lineup they're going with the Touch ID in the corner that could double as a power button. And then the form factor is a bit larger than the conventional one from back in the day from 2020. So you could definitely see how they could bump this up slightly and get an M1 chip in there, maybe add some peripheral to the back here. So without just having the one lightning cable, you could have a couple of USB-C ports and a couple of USB ports would be plenty for a light desktop. Or even as we've seen from 2021, the most top of the line only had four ports. So if they got up to four ports, then who knows? In a practical sense, I think this device could really win in the enterprise space. When I talk enterprise, I'm talking about offices. Companies spend hundreds of thousands on infrastructure. And if you can get the reliability of Apple and in a form factor like this, not have to have a tower PC on every desk, you just have a keyboard that fits into anyone's workflow. I feel like that could be a great selling point for Apple. And, and I feel like it would be eaten up in the enterprise space given the supported software on the Apple side. They then make the comparison to the Raspberry Pi 400. Obviously this came out in 2020, which is a similar time to this patent. That was a very bulky machine, but it obviously wasn't aimed at the high end market. It only cost $70 and you can imagine that the Apple equivalent will be hundreds of dollars more. There's obviously no guarantee that Apple will release a device like this. This is just a patent and there's a couple of ideas that they're working on. But it'll be interesting to see what kind of form factors they think of in the future and if they're changing away from the square cube that they're currently working with. If you could get all of the power of an M1 chip in a keyboard, would you be interested? And what do you think the pros and cons between portability and power between the devices would really be in the practical sense? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and have a great rest of your day.